In this video, we are going to see how to use interpolate subim objects. Basically what we are going to build is an animation that moves and rotates several objects. To start we can use what we learned in the previous video. Everything works correctly. Now, what if we need each figure to rotate around itself? For this, we are going to add a new parameter to the animation that will control the rotation of each shape. When we overwrite the method interpolate M object, we are deleting this code here, which is in charge of calling the method interpolate sub M object. So, to use this method, it is necessary to call the super method. Once this is done, we can overwrite the interpolate subim objects method. However, if you paid attention to the previous video, you can intuit that this is going to give problems, because when calling the become method here we are going to reset the initial position of each figure, so they are not going to move, they are only going to rotate on themselves. We are going to solve this problem. For this, before executing the become method, we will save the position of each object to move it to this position after applying the become method. Perfect, now we see that everything works correctly. We have to be careful with these details, we must know very well which method is executed before another, otherwise, we will have these problems. There is another point to highlight about the method interpolate subim objects is the parameter lag ratio. If you don't know what it is, I recommend you to watch this video. In several animations you can notice that when we apply an animation to multiple objects, the animation runs with a lag between each object. To avoid this, we simply have to use lag ratio equal to zero. Again, to better understand what this parameter means you need to watch this video. Lag ratio only makes sense if we define the interpolate subim objects method. If we overwrite only the interpolate or interpolate M object method it will have no effect. This is basically all you need to create your own animations, it is a bit difficult to understand at first, but if you do some exercises you will see that it is quite simple and can save you a lot of code. In the next video, we are going to see some advanced manum tips.